Alright, what's going on ladies and gentlemen, Mamsugus Gaming and I can finally and officially say Welcome to Season 4, baby! You heard that correctly, Season 4 has dropped, so let's go through everything new in Season 4. But just before we do that, if you guys are excited for the launch of Season 4, make sure to see for the like button. For everything Call of Duty, make sure to subscribe, turn on notification bell and join notification squad. Without further ado, let's get right into it. Okay, the first new addition to Black Ops Cold War in Season 4 is none other than what you're seeing in front of you right now, and that is the menu screen plays out the Season 4 trailer, which looks quite cool, not gonna lie. After that, we have the selection menu for black ops cold war we have this new screen as well and if you we move over to the warzone screen you will see the new red door travel system in warzone once again another two cool additions and as we've seen from the previous seasons we also have our new lobby screen which again looks quite cool this is set in the desert where also the map collateral is set as well and you can even see the crashed satellites which is another cool addition not gonna lie with every new season we also get new maps new playlist here are the playlists for season four. First of all we have hijack 24 7 which to be honest with you guys i cannot wait to give it a go i am very very excited expect a video very very soon nuketown 24 7 remains gunfight blueprint remains and then we have the fight team settling another game mode that i cannot wait to try we have party games which include prop hunt gun game sticks and stones and the new game mode one in the chamber we also have the new face of 6v6 and lastly the cranked hard point which is pretty much the same as die hard point but of course with the 80s action heroes event finished they changed the name from die hard point to cranked hard point and the rest remains the same we move on to the next step grandfall which is the new limited time event that came alongside the crash satellite in Warzone and Black Ops Cold War and very similar to the Hunt for Adler event you have six challenges that you need to complete three of which are going to be Black Ops Cold War and three you will need to complete in Warzone now what are the challenges well the first one is in Cold War earn 1000 points from captured uplink stations in Fight Team Satellin our second Cold War challenge is going to be get 250 eliminations in matches on Collateral Collateral Strike Hijacked or Amsterdam basically the new maps and the last Cold War challenge is get 15 kills with the hand cannon score streaks shouldn't be that hard to do we move on to Warzone secure five uplink stations the second challenge eliminate 10 enemies while near an active uplink station or recently crashed satellite and the final challenge is collect three rewards from crashed satellites and once you complete all six challenges you will end up earning the private party magnum blueprint which i'm not gonna lie it looks quite cool Next up we have the weapons, let's start off with the nail gun and we'll talk about the other 20 weapons when we get to the battle pass but for the nail guns there are two challenges that you can complete this one in multiplayer which is get 5 eliminations with special weapons in 15 different completed matches which means you cannot back out, you have to complete all 15 matches or you can do the challenge in zombie which is in outbreak get 25 kills with special weapons in 12 different completed regions which means you need to use a special weapon, get 25 kills and then you actually have to complete that region which means you have to which means you either have to wrap to a new region or you have to to successfully exfil from that area and then and only then it will count ultimately it is up to you whether you want to complete it in multiplayer or zombies me personally i would say stick with zombies it is a bit much easier because not only in zombies it will take you less time to complete but for multiplayer as you guys know the special weapons aren't that very good except the r1 shadow hunter crossbow however you have to get five eliminations and also complete 15 different matches which will just take a long time so like i said i would stick with zombies challenge and lock it that way much better Alright everybody, it is now time to check out the full battle pass of season 4, let's see what it has to offer. Yes, in the previous video we previewed some new things that will be coming, but now it is time to see what the full 100 tiers of the battle pass will have to offer us. And just like in the previous seasons and even modern warfare, just for buying the battle pass you get the 4 instant rewards, of course the first one being the legendary operator skin for Jackal, which will also unlock you the operator, the assassin operator skin for Port Nova, you have the emerald trooper watch and the season 4 XP boost. And then we move on to the first tier of the battle pass which will earn you the sticker we have some colon cards double weapon xp tokens and this one goofy taco charm is quite amazing not gonna lie here is the monochrome ak-47 blueprint that we talked about in the previous video you get some cut points more double xp tokens and you have more xp tokens vehicle skins operator skins and boom tier 15 is our first free weapon and it's gonna be the mg82 lmg which i'm not gonna i cannot wait to unlock and try it out it's gonna be absolute deadly at close range it will only take you five bullets to eliminate an enemy at close range and it has a very fast rate of fire and also the largest magazine capacity in all of the LMGs which is absolutely beautiful after the free weapon we have our first gesture which is gonna be the scorpion shot let's see it together okay oh no no like no what Ew, th that is what no <laughs> what is that no way okay whoa okay L let's just move on okay let's move on and boom look oh snap look at this blueprint what the regal shift pistol charlie okay whoa this looks absolutely amazing not gonna lie okay okay that looks quite cool we have the twisted reverse finishing move let's quickly see how it is okay okay take down and boom okay that's quite scary not gonna lie all right we have some more operator skins all right and then we have a legendary blueprint for a tactical rifle called the regal scepter okay okay it's the same one as the royal shift okay all right not bad not bad 
We move on to the cleanup crew, another nice looking blueprint, alright, not gonna lie, quite awesome. And then we move on to our second free weapon at tier level 31, the C58 assault rifle. This one is gonna be a very, very good assault rifle, I can already tell you guys. Cannot wait to give it a go and of course showcase it in a video for you guys as well. Okay, let's continue moving on, we have some more cut points, some more charms, some more weapon blueprints and I'm not gonna show that gesture, uh, if you saw it, you saw it, if you didn't. <laughs> we have some more vehicle skins of course, double XP tokens, we have a dead shot daiquiri emblem which is a perk in, in zombies. And of course we have the squishy slimes, what is this? Okay, what is this? This is absolutely cool. <laughs> you know what, I think this might be my favorite weapon blueprint out of all of them so far. Okay, let's continue the battle pass and I do also want to say I apologize for moving up by 10 items each time. And of course here is the ancient scarab that we talked about in the previous video as well. But like I was saying, I do apologize for going up by 10 items instead of one by one. And the reason for that is if I move one item by one item, we're gonna be here until another two days. <laughs> So yeah, that's why instead of going one item, I'm going up by tens. Of course, we have Black Ops 4 mixtape right here. And as usual, the whole battle pass is filled with double XP tokens, cut points, which you will earn 1300 cut points just by going out through the whole battle pass, which is always amazing. Some more blueprints, some more operator skins, which all look quite cool, not gonna lie. And there it goes, almost at the end of it. 92, you get the flamethrower calling card. And talking about the flamethrower, it was actually leaked that it was coming since before season 2 and we are in season 4 and it is yet to come. And there it goes, at tier 95 we have our first ultra blueprint for the new LMG MG82. And not gonna lie, it looks absolutely crazy. Alright, let's see all the stages. You have this one, the first stage, and boom, once you get 6 kills. Now here at 9 kills and boom at 12 kills you have the real spinning on the weapon the weapon brighten up a lot and it looks absolutely beautiful there it goes 9 and boom 12 right there once again looks very very cool cannot wait to try it out and to finish it off you get some more double xp tokens all seeing eye okay charm alright alright more cut points the destroyer emblem and boom, finally, the Ultra Operator skin, the Iridescent, which actually lights up just like you're seeing in front of you right there. Boom, there it goes. That's, these are all the four stages of it, which looks absolutely cool, not gonna lie. And finally, in terms of weapons, we will get the Forgotten Oasis. We also talked about it in the previous video. All right, looks beautiful again. And finally, the Takeoff Dirt Bike and the Season 4 Emblem. Okay, if I must tell you guys, I think out of all the seasons so far, I think Season 4 is the best one. If you haven't bought any of the previous battle passes, make sure you buy this one, because some of the things in it are absolutely beautiful. For example, this Operator skin, and of course, the new Ultra Blueprint MG82 LMG. It is absolutely worth it, I would say, this season. If you wanna buy it, buy this season. And when it comes to the bundles, we'll have two new bundles so far, until more are added in season. First of all, we have the Circuit Board Reactive Bundle, which will feature two weapons, Emblem, Colon Card, Charm, and a sticker and it will set you back 1600 cut points and the second bundle is going to be the framework bundle which will of course feature the new nail gun alongside the nail gun you will get the switcheroo finishing move let's see how it goes okay boom oh oh snap oh okay final headshot okay we have the celebratory smoke gesture all right let's see what it is okay okay you know what? that's cool oh snap okay beautiful <laughs> we have the horrible tongue accessory, another emblem, colon card, and of course you will get two battle pass tier skips, and this bundle will set you back 1000 cut points. I must tell you guys, season 4 is shaping up to be one hell of a season, so far it is so good, the battle pass is good, the weapons hopefully they will be good as well, we have the nail gun which is gonna be absolutely amazing, hijacked as well, but yeah, so far season 4 is looking like it's gonna be an amazing season, I can no wait to get into the maps, try the new weapons, and of course give you guys content on it as well, so expect that and stay tuned. But with that being said, thank you guys for watching this video, and if you guys are excited for the launch of season 4, make sure to see for the like button for everything Call of Duty, make sure to subscribe, turn on the notification bell and join the notification squad, and I'll catch you guys later.